Good morning, students of class nine. Welcome back to the online classes now. Let's continue our lesson in geography. We are talking about, uh, we are discussing or learning about peninsular plateau. So, the remaining portion of the peninsular plateau we'll talk about. There are six points, and in our next class we'll do about uh, the Great Indian Desert. Today we'll finish about uh, peninsular plateau. The Western Ghats. We are talking about Western Ghats first. The Western Ghats progressively increases its height from north to south. That means the Western Ghats are higher towards the south than the north. And uh, they are continuous. They are continuous and one can pass through certain uh, gaps, certain passes only. Otherwise the, mount, the hills are very, very continuous. So, and they are very high. The highest peak is, the highest peaks, there are two, three peaks, peaks, peaks means highest hills. The topmost part is called a peak of a mountain or a hill. The highest peaks include Andai Modi, which is the highest peak of the peninsula plateau. That is 2695 meter, Andai Modi is the highest peak in the Deccan plateau. And second one is Doda Betta, that is 2637, a little lower than Annai Modi. That means compared to these two, this is higher. And there is another peak that lies in the eastern ghat, Mahendra Giri. The name of the hill is highest hill in eastern ghat. So these two lie in the south. This Mahendra Giri lies in the eastern part. Mahendra Giri, which is the eastern ghat, which is in the eastern ghat, is 1501 meter. That is the highest in eastern ghat. Among these three, Annai Moody is the highest. The famous hill station in the south, there are few high, uh, hill stations. One of them is very, very famous. The famous hill station of the south is Udam Mangalam. Udaram Mandalam. So that is the southern name, Udga Mandalam. And now here, it is popularly known as Oti. The hill station of the south is Oti, popularly known as Oti, or we can call it also Kodai Canal. It is also called Kodai Canal. So very few people know about Kodai Canal and Udga, Udga Mandalam because they are South Indian names, Udga Mandalam and Kodai Konal. But everyone knows about OT because it is very popular. Hill station of the south is called OT or Kodai Konal. And in the south it is popularly known as Udga Mandalam. Now, number five. One of the distinct, distinct feature, distinct means clear. One of the clear feature of the peninsula plateau is the black soil region. A very special, a, a, a unique feature of the South Indian Peninsula Plateau is its black soil. It is found in the south, not in the north, because it is made out of volcanic rock, igneous rock. After denudation of, after weathering of the igneous rock, that is volcanic rock, the black soil is formed. So, the distinct feature of the Southern Peninsula Plateau is the Black Soil region and it is also called Deccan Trap. Now you know what is the meaning of Deccan Trap? The Black Soil region is also called the Deccan Trap formed by igneous rocks after weathering. Now here, the Black Soil is of volcanic origin. It is made out of volcanic rock origin due to igneous rocks. Volcanic origin means due to igneous rocks, after weathering of igneous rock, after denudation of igneous rock, black soil is formed. The Aravalli Hills, now let's talk about the northernmost part of Malwa Plateau, that is also a part of the Deccan Plateau. We have learned about it. Uh, the Deccan Plateau has divided into two regions, the Malwa Plateau in the north and the Deccan Plateau in the south. The Malwa Plateau is also part of the Deccan Plateau and the north 
अरावल हिल्स आर द नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न मार्जिन मार्जिन मीन्स बाउंड्री नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न मार्जिन दैट लाइज इन राजस्थान इन राजस्थान बाउंड्री ऑफ द पेनसुलर प्लेट एंड आर हाईली इरोडेड हिल्स इरोडेड मीन्स इट इज द हिल्स आर इरोडेड बाय विंड एंड हाईली इरोडेड हिल्स दे लाई इन द नॉर्थ वेस्ट एंड साउथ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन Aravalli hills lie in the northwest and southwest directions, so that the wind, rain-bearing clouds will cross them over, because it lies in the different region directions, north, south, northwest and southwest region uh, direction. That's why the rain-bearing clouds they cross it over and it doesn't rain over there. Had it been like east and west. there would have been good rainfall and no desert would have been formed there so that's why desert is formed there because the direction of the aravalli hills are not suitable for uh, for the rain bearing clouds to strike at them it crosses over so now they lie in the north west and south west direction because uh, i'm telling you this because a previous long time back there was a question in the board exam why uh, uh, there is a desert why desert is formed in rajasthan it is due to the aravalli range because of their directions it is not in the east and west direction but it is in the north western and south western direction that's why the rain bearing clouds cannot be checked so naturally the desert is formed there it doesn't rain so that question was there once so i remember so that's why i'm telling you so that you can uh, remember things clearly so that's all for peninsula plateau now we'll talk about the indian desert in our from our next classes so indian desert i will talk about so thank you for watching and stay safe don't waste time keep on watching the online portal videos and while watching you must brighten your screen a little bit and increase the volume you can listen carefully so i didn't i didn't record in the full volume because if i record in the full volume you cannot increase the the voice the sound will remain as it is if i record in the low voice low mode so you can increase the volume and can hear clearly so that's all for today we'll meet in the next class thank you for watching stay safe